Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to COBOL, where we will see how we can multiply a single value with multiple variables along with the results. Okay, so just to explain this session in simpler way, I have already created one program with the name test pgm68. So this program we are going to walk through. So I'll explain you each and every line and basically we are going to discuss like how we can use multiply statement for multiplying more than one value at a time. Okay, so in your project there might be various scenarios where you are supposed to multiply one value with multiple values. So in that place we will utilize this multiply statement. Prior to this uh, session also we have discussed uh, some type of variations with multiple statement, right? So this session is in the continuation of the same. So before we start the discussion, I would like to recommend you like if you have not watched the previously released session, then please go and check out those sessions first because in this playlist each and every session is in proper sequence and sync. So if you follow the session sequentially, then it would be really very easy for you to understand the ongoing topic. Okay. So yeah, I think because all these sessions are connected with each other. Today we are talking about multiplying one value with multiple value but prior to that we should know what is multiply statement why we are using it all these things should be clear if it is clear then we are good to start with the program okay fine so i think now we can start with the program walkthrough so i'll take the program test pgm68 in edit mode from here now you can see as usual firstly I'm declaring the identification division block which is mainly for storing the program identity related information. So you can see here program ID is test pgm okay there is something wrong so test pgm 68 now the program is 68 okay fine. So it is denoting the program name then author is denoting the author name so these are the two information which is denoting the program identity information. Now if in your case if there are any other information which you want to store as a program identity then you can store it under this identification division block. Okay. Now after this what we are doing from line number 5 to line number 7 we have initiated the comment line by placing the asterisk on 7th place. So you can count it from the very first position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay. So these are the 3 line which we have declared as a comment after this whatever you are writing in the same line would be considered as a comment only okay so we have just initiated the three comment line now below to this what we are doing we have initiated the data division what is data division when whenever you want to declare some variables for your program then in that case you will declare the variable inside this working storage section and from that working storage section uh, like we can figure out like how many variables we have declared in the program what are the type of uh, program variable what is the length of program variable so these all things will be clear only by looking at the data division block working storage section okay so you can see here on line number 11 I am using working storage section to define the variables so let's see how we are declaring the variable the first variable which we are declaring on line number 12 is initiated with a level number. So level number is 01 denoting higher data hierarchy. Then variable name is profit1. So whenever we want to access this variable throughout the program, we will use the variable name as profit1 or you can see the data name as profit1. Then we have PIC denoting picture clause and 9 of 4 denoting numeric 4 digit. Okay, so it can store four numeric digits then we have value clause where we have initialized the value as five okay so when uh, we have declared the value with like this value clause is always an optional clause okay so if you want really want to initialize some value to your variable then only you can use this clause otherwise you can skip this part okay fine so we have just declared the variable with value now the next thing is another variable we are declaring on line number 13 here we are declaring the variable with the name profit2 PIC 9 of 4 value is 4 okay and then similarly we are using profit3 where level number is same 01 denoting higher data hierarchy variable name is profit3 PIC is denoting picture clause and 9 of 4 means it can also hold up to 
four digit numeric value and here we have initialized the value as two clear so what we have did so far like we have just declared three variable profit one profit two profit three these three variable all are of type numeric and can hold up to four digit values then we have value clause through which we are assigning the values like five four two respectively okay so we are done with the variable declaration now it's time to write the mail logic so we all know that when we want to write the mail logic we write the logic under this procedure division so from line number 16 we have initiated the procedure division and under this procedure division whatever you will write will be considered as your mail logic of the program okay so here you can see from line numbers 18 i'm printing the value without any modification okay so here we are not doing any kind of modification so far we have haven't done anything yet so now it's time to display the actual values so that on screen we can easily figure out okay so these were the actual values and now it got changed like this okay so the first value which we are printing using display command is profit one so display profit one value before any modification is profit one display profit two value before any modification is profit two display profit three value before any modification is profit three so these are the three values we have declared here after that we have initiate after that we are using multiply keyword or you can say the multiply statement but here look at the syntax this is not the same which we discussed in last session okay this is a bit advanced here what we are trying to do we are trying to multiply profit one variable by profit two and profit three at a time so what it will do what it will do for example if we have five here and four here so it will multiply five by four and if two is there in profit three so it will multiply five by two as well okay so this is how this line would work and once we are done with this line the output would be stored into this profit 2 and profit 3 variable itself okay so the output would be in this profit 2 and profit 3 afterwards what we are doing we are declaring uh, we are displaying the value so you can see here display multiplication result and we are printing profit 2 maybe we can write here as well Pro multiplication result or we can keep it uh, multiple result one multiple result two or we, we can keep it sa same okay because we can easily figure out yes if value is printing then we through the values we can figure out like what output we are getting so display multiplication re result profit two and likewise we are displaying multiplication result but multiplication result is for uh, profit three and then at last we are using stop run to terminate the program flow so it's time to compile this source and see what we are getting from here source is compiled successfully now i'm calling it and after a call you can see profit one value before any modification is 0005 because we are using four digit numeric value so it automatically adds triple zero in the beginning according to the number then we are printing the second value which is profit 2 value before any modification is 0004 then we are printing profit 3 value before any modification which is 0002 so so far like we have not implemented any changes we have not utilized the multiply statement and that's the reason it is printing the actual value which we have initialized under the uh, at the time of declaration only with a value clause right now what we are going to do on pressing enter it will process uh, it will implement the line where we utilize the multiply statement so if I press enter you can see multiplication is result is 20 why because profit 1 multiply by profit 2 so 5 into 4 it's 20 so the output is 20 and this output is actually stored in this profit 2 value so profit two value is replaced with 20 previously it was four okay so this never get confused in this thing okay all right likewise if i press enter again you will see multiplication result is 10 because five is multiplied with profit three and profit three contain two so five and two sorry two and five into two is 10 so the now the new value of profit three is 10 not the two 
because it is replaced with the new result clear so yeah this is how we can utilize the multiply statement for multiplying the values with multiple results i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech